The 2018 fall season was filled with record-breaking performances for the Crimson on the field, in the pool, and on the court. Let's take a look back on the success of Harvard's fall teams. Both the men's and women's cross-country teams took massive steps forward during the 2018 season. The men sent two individuals to the NCAA National Championships while the women sent one. Kieran Tuntivate in 24 minutes and 30.2 seconds had an incredibly strong postseason, winning the Ivy League Heptagonal Championship and leading the team to a second place finish. He continued his strong form in the NCAA East Regionals where he placed second and followed up the race with a 47th place finish at the NCAA Championship. Ships. Following Tuntivate was sophomore Hugo Milder, who also had a strong postseason. He finished third at Ivy Heps, fifth at Regionals, and 65th at Nationals. At Ivy Heps, the Crimson were the only team to have a male and female finisher in the top five as Tuntivate won his race and Lisa Turch finished third. She continued on to Regionals and Nationals, coming in third in Regionals and 100 at Nationals. As a team, the men climbed all the way to second in the NCAA Northeast Regional Poll and received votes in the National Poll for the first time since 2013. It was a record-breaking season for Harvard field hockey. Crimson went 17-2 and 7-0 in the Ivy League, reaching the NCAA quarterfinals after a fifth Ivy League championship. Harvard won its first NCAA tournament game and its sixth ever NCAA appearance, beating number nine Penn State 6-1 in the opening round. Harvard broke the previous program record for wins set last year and won 14 games in a row, a new program mark smashing the record of eight from 2016. Harvard cracked the top 10 in the national rankings for the first time ever and had four hat tricks this season, also a program record. Head coach Cherick Vanner Warden was named the Ivy League Coach of the Year. Junior Benta Van Vlyman earned Ivy League Co-Offensive Player of the Year honors. And first year Ellie Shabo was named the Ivy League Rookie of the Year. Junior Maddie Earl's 38 points on 16 goals and 6 assists earned her the Ivy League Scoring Championship. Football season was highlighted by several Crimson players setting school records, including Justice Shelton Mosley's career punt return average record and Jake McIntyre, who tied the career and single season field goal records. Aaron Champlin eclipsed 1,000 yards on the ground, and Tom Stewart threw the longest touchdown pass in school history, a 92-yarder to Jack Cook against Columbia. Stewart went on to tie the school record with five touchdown passes in that game against the Lions. Harvard finished the year 6-4 overall and 4-3 and in the Ivy League, capping the season with a win over Yale in the 135th playing of the game at Fenway Park. Women's rugby had a great 15 season. The Crimson ended the regular season with a record of 6-1, including an Ivy Championship win over Dartmouth. With blowout playoff wins against American International and Quinnipiac in the NIRA playoffs, Harvard earned a spot in the NIRA National Championship, losing a tightly contested battle against Dartmouth in 19-14. Women's soccer tallied its 12th consecutive season with a 500 or better record, finishing in third place in the Ivy League standings at 4-2-1. Senior Leah Mohammadi scored a team-high seven goals, while sophomore Murphy Agnew dished out a team leading four assists. Both players earned all Ivy League first-team accolades. Men's soccer took a step forward in 2018 with two athletes earning postseason All-Ivy honors. Matt Fries was named second team All-Ivy after leading the league in saves per game and ranking third in total saves. Sam Brown earned honorable mention after scoring a goal against number five Denver. The women's volleyball team finished the 2018 season fourth in the Ivy League after posting a five and eight conference record and an 11 and 12 mark overall. The Crimson finished in the top four of the conference for the sixth consecutive year. Senior co-captain Christina Cornelius earned all Ivy first team honors, garnering all Ivy honors in each of her four years at Harvard. Harvard men's water polo finished its 2018 campaign with a 22-8 overall mark, its fifth consecutive year with 20 or more wins. The Crimson downed its first top three ranked opponent with a win over then number three California on September 15th. Crimson also bested seven ranked opponents on the season. First year Noah Hodge, sophomore Dennis Blyashov, and junior Austin Seacrest were all named first team all NWPC. It's the first time the program has seen three Crimson members capturing first team honors. Additionally, Blyashov and Seacrest were named NWPC first team all tournament as Hodge earned second team all tournament. Harvard's 2018 season came to a close during the NWPC championship game against Princeton as the Crimson captured second place at the tournament. 
That's a wrap on Harvard's 2018 fall season. Be sure to follow the Crimson by checking out the Ivy League on ESPN for more live and on-demand content.